More than 150,000 American, British, and Canadian troops stormed the five beaches at Normandy on D Day. 73,000 soldiers fought. Thousands were killed, but only 12 were awarded the Medal of Honor for their actions during the invasion, including one from our area. Lindsay Ward joins us now with how he is being remembered today. Lindsay? Good morning. That man that is being honored and remembered today is John Pinder. He's a Pittsburgh native, and in just a few hours, his family will be here at Soldiers and Salem's uh, Soldiers and Sailors Museum for a ceremony. Here's the background on Pinder, in case if you don't know about him and why he's being referred to as an inspiration. On D-Day, Pinder, a technician, fifth grade, landed on the coast of Omaha Beach during heavy enemy machine gun fire while carrying a radio in waist deep water. He was hit, but he never stopped there. He eventually made it to shore. And delivered the radio. He refused medical treatment while there and kept on going. On three separate occasions, he went back to salvage important communication equipment. And on his third trip, he was hit again with numerous machine gun bullet wounds in his legs and even still. He didn't stop. Now, on that trip, Pinder was able to retrieve vital radio communication on the beach. The brave technician ended up getting hit again and killed. He did receive the Medal of Honor. Now, again, uh, the 75th anniversary D Day commemoration ceremony here at Soldiers and Sailors Museum in Oakland will be held at 9 30 this morning. We will stay here and be there for that ceremony, and we will provide you a full report today on KDKA News. Reporting this morning, Lindsay Ward, KDKA News on Pittsburgh's CW.